Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial number 47. In this tutorial we're just going to continue on with our new vital bar. So let's open up Unity and Mono Development. Now we left off and we're calculating the length right down here of the bars. Now in order to do that we're going to have to find out what the length of the, the bar is already. So it's, it's max length. And we're going to want to get a reference to the GUI texture. So we'll want to get a hold of this component. So let's just go into our script. And up here, I'll create another private variable that's going to be of type GUI texture. And I'll call it uh, display. Now down here is where I'm going to get the reference to the actual component. So we'll just say display equals. Now we're going to want to get the game object that this script is attached to. So we'll say game object, but with a small g. Apparently my IntelliSense isn't working today. That's okay. And we'll, the method we'll want to invoke is get component. The type of component, which will be a GUI texture. And then the closing parenthesis. Uh, we'll head over to Unity, make sure there's no errors. Nothing. I'm just going to shrink this down a bit. Yeah, nothing. So we'll go back in. Now that we got a reference to the GUI texture, we can access all of its properties. So if we go up here and look, we'll have the pixel inset. And we're going to want to look at the width and the height. Well, not necessarily the height. What we want right now is just the width. So we're going to get the width and we're going to assign it to our max bar length. So the, the starting bar length is going to be the length that the bar starts at. So all we have to do is go max bar length equals display dot, then the pixel inset. I believe it's a small p. And it should be dot width. I'm just going to go over to Unity. There's an error. That should get rid of the error. There we go. Now let's go back down to where we're adjusting the length, which was down here. And we're going to Get that reference to display dot pixel inset with a small p. Now the pixel inset, if you look at it, it has x, y, width, and height. If you recognize that, that's a rect. Or you can just look at the documentation on Unity and they'll tell you that it's a rect. So we're going to make a new rect. And in that rect, we'll want to pass in the values it already has. So we'll say display dot pixel inset dot x for the x. Display dot pixel inset dot y for the y. Now for our width, it's going to be current bar length. And the height is just going to be the display dot pixel inset dot height. IntelliSense makes it much easier. I'll try to get that up and running for the next video. So we'll go back to Unity, make sure there's no errors. There is one. Ah. 
it should have been an equals new rect. Before I had it inside of parentheses, and that's not what it's expecting. What it's expecting is to be assigned a, a new rect. So we'll go check. That error disappears. Now let's start it up and see what happens. And our health bars disappeared. Ah, over here width is zero. So our calculation's off for some reason. So current health divided by maximum health divided by max bar length. Ah, current bar length is an int. And so are all of these. So for instance, right here, you're having 80 divided by 100, which would be 0.8. That's going to be rounded off to zero. Then when you multiply by the bar length, which I believe we have set to 200, well, at least I do, it's still going to be zero. So we'll just do a little bit of typecasting here. It's the easiest way to do it. So we're making this a float, if I type it right. And then out here, we can convert everything back to an int. Save that off. Make sure there's no errors. Nothing showing up. Hit play. There we go. We have our health, health bars and they're at 80%. But you notice it's affecting both of them. We only want it to affect the player one for now. So we have that by setting the player health bar to be equal true. Is player health bar. And actually we have it as private up here. Let's make it public so we can change that right in the inspector instead of having to do it in code. But if we come over here and we'll click on the mob one, the mob health bar prefab one, it is player health bar. You can tick it on or off. I'm going to leave it off for now. And I'm also going to comment out this line. That if we go to the player health bar prefab, I'm going to make that an actual player health one. I'm just going to get rid of the one on this mob bar. Hit play. There you go. It's only affecting the player health one now. So, see, I was using a web size. Eventually, we will have to write a script that will position it depending on uh, your resolution. But we'll get to that later. So, there we go. I want to skip ahead a little bit. And I want to actually start instantiating mobs for us to fight. So, we can rework everything that we made in tutorials you know, 1 through 10. And incorporate them into this new system we've created. Gamer Data has been nice enough to donate another model, and it's a slug. I don't believe I've added it yet. I have not. Ah, here we go. I'll just quickly show you that one. We'll have to adjust the size. But anyway, I've included it into the assets package, and it's going to be our default mob since it's the only one I have right now that I can use. And I've also gone ahead and started to convert the models to an FBX format. So people who were having trouble importing them before should be fine now. I've also left the original Blender model in there in case anyone wants to go ahead and you know make edits or whatnot. But if you are having trouble importing the Blender files into your Unity project, just use the FBX version. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.